Hi everybody, this is a special edition of West Explains Best. We're gonna do a shortcut today. Now in another video I've explained how to find uh, the midpoint. The midpoint formula is this. We have our XM, which is our midpoint of the, the, X, value, the X value of the midpoint. The Y value of the midpoint is YM. And use this formula here to get an indication of uh, where your midpoint is. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you like a little shortcut that makes it a lot easier. So before, you're gonna follow the same, well, you don't really need to follow the same process, but before, you would label X1, Y1, you'd label this, not X2, Y2, that's the temptation, that's what a lot of students fall into the mistake of. You call this XM, YM, and then you would plug it into this formula, and you would solve. A lot of students make some mistakes when solving, they forget to multiply two, blah, 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 okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a shortcut. The shortcut is this. We just look at the endpoint and we see how it changes from here to get to here, and then we'll continue the pattern to find the other endpoint. Remember, our goal is we're trying to find the other endpoint. So if I were to draw this real quick, and I'm gonna just do it real fast, just so you get an indication. So we have two five, okay, is one endpoint. The midpoint is five comma one. And then we know that there's another endpoint somewhere around here, because this is a line that continues something like this. So we don't know exactly where it is, but this is a line with this as an endpoint, with the green as a midpoint, and we're trying to find the other endpoint. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna see how the X changes, how the Y changes, and then we're gonna just add it to find the missing endpoint. So let me go ahead and write this in. We have an endpoint here, and we can call this X2, Y2. You don't really need to worry about this for the shortcut, but I just wanna show you that we're going from one to the other, okay? Now, let's start with the X's. So our X, okay, from here to here, our X goes from two to five, okay? So what happened there? We added three. So to go from here to here, what do we need to do? Well, if that's truly a midpoint, then that means it needs to be the same on both sides. The length needs to be the same. So we need to add three again here giving us eight, okay? That's the first step. The second step, this is so easy, so much easier than the other way. The second step is we need to find the Y. So how, did the y, how does the Y change? Uh, I kinda wanna go up, let me go up instead. How does the Y change? We go from five to one. What happened? We subtracted four. So if it's the same on both sides, then we also need to subtract again by four to find the end point. Because remember, this midpoint is halfway in between these two points. So we subtract four again and we get negative three. So therefore, our endpoint is eight comma negative three. And it's as simple as that. Let me do another example just to show you that if we're looking for the other endpoint here, so this is the other endpoint, I'll do number 26, something comma something. Okay, let me start again with my x. I go from here to here. What did I do? I went from negative six to four. That is plus 10. So again, I need to add 10 to keep it balanced, to make that the midpoint, and that is gonna give me 14. Then for this guy, I go from four to eight. That's plus four. I do that again to get to the other one, plus four. Eight plus four is 12. There is my other endpoint. It's as simple as that. I hope you guys like this shortcut, and I'll see you next time on West Explains Best.